Hi, I'm Leonardo and I'm one of the developers of Flight Speed Arena, the first photo-based tabletop shooter. Let's check out what that even means. Setting up a game of Flight Speed Arena is very fast. Let's say we'll be setting up a three players game. So every player gets a faction, the base tile starts on the table in front of them and they also get the corresponding fleet. So Soul Spear are playing, then the Amboom are playing for the player on the left and I will be, for example, picking the Retro Blast faction. Then you put two asteroids in the middle of the table and you are ready to go. Now, uh, this is a very small uh, like surface just for camera purposes, you will be playing on a bigger one. Again, for presentation purposes I will be playing with just four spaceships per faction, but normally you are using either uh, six or eight of them, but uh, four spaceships will definitely do when it comes to presenting the game. Now, everybody shuffles their tiles. This is like the fleet ready to enter the battle. Now the ghost players will have their deck here, but normally they will, would be also holding their tiles like that in order to have the most space <laughs> free on the table. In the first part of the game, the app will act as a timer. Now I will start the timer. It's important that you have the audio on so you can hear when it's time to play the next spaceship. This is a preparatory timer and when this is done we will be starting playing our spaceships and what we are doing is we are trying to aim with the laser beams at sensible targets. For example I play there, the green player plays here and the yellow player plays there. So sensible targets, what are they? Sensible targets are uh, either asteroids or enemy spaceships. So this is not a great idea but yeah, you I'm playing now with three factions at once, this is not the easiest. Play there, trying to hit uh, maybe these and that. Oh, well, a green player just drew the very strong one. So my last spaceship could go here, goes maybe there, goes here. And we are ready to go. So this was our battle, this was the strategical phase where we commanded our spaceships, you go there, you go there, you go there, and now they start shooting. And the way we do this is by uh, using the magical function of our app, which is you just take a picture of what's on the table and the software will analyze the image and turn your physical table into a battle that uh, the app will help you to resolve. This is just to check that everything is there and this is exactly what we see here on the table. For example, this was my, no, this was not my intention, it was the blue player. So the green player just mined mineral units out of the asteroid. Wow, <laughs> that, that didn't last long because it was lost like right away because the blue player just came and destroyed the spaceship. Everybody's playing very well. So, I mean, I must say I'm surprised to see that actually all these hits uh, were delivered. <laughs> Um, so the app is uh, running the rules of the game, the app is counting the points and the app is showing you who's, uh, um, who's winning at the end of the game. So that you can focus on the fun part of the game which is, yeah, aiming, which is sharing uh, the experience around the table with your friends. What is really important about this resolution is that you, it's not just a technological gimmick, it's about enabling an experience that wouldn't be possible otherwise on the table. So let's check out the rules of the game and understand how the app interacts with uh, like the gameplay, with the mechanics of the game and how uh, like new experiences are made possible by this hybrid approach to the game. It's a, we are in the arena, we want to score the most points uh, by pleasing the audience by mining mineral units and if they are not yet there, I will talk about them later, by also uh, satisfying what the sponsors uh, of the game want to see. You score points by hitting enemies and you do that by using your laser beams. Every time a laser beam intersects the illustration of an enemy, you score one point because the audience is cheering and everybody is happy to see some delivered hits. The second way you score points is by destroying spaceships. So for example in this case the blue player just hit the uh, yellow base and also the green player hit the yellow base with the, uh, with the red beam. Now there are three types of laser beams. The, the green ones they do one damage, the yellow ones they do two damage and the red ones they do three damage. So in this case the yellow base would suffer two damage from the yellow beam here and three damage from the red beam here. So the green player is the one who damaged it the most 
and now this is also that because it had four batteries which are like these uh, like uh, cylinders planted in the frame of the spaceship so this is that it has suffered more damage than the total life that it has so the green player would score the points for the spaceships being the faction that damaged it the most how many four which is the total life of the spaceship now you can also score points by mining mineral units out of asteroids once when when you hit an asteroid you extract as many mineral units as the damage you inflicted so in this case two now two minerals are stored in the spaceship if the spaceship survives till the end of the game you score the mineral units as points otherwise it's just lost in space so this is uh, like the basic ways to score points then there are like other interesting details like you can intercept laser beams with shields reducing their damage if your base survives you you will score four points because you protected the symbol of your faction but one very important concept in the, in the game is the initiative so you are drawing the spaceship at random but then they will shoot in initiative order so the faster one being a bit weaker and the slower one being stronger with the faster ones you can try to take down slower ones before they can shoot so if the, the like number eight which is super strong super like heavy uh when it will be time for it to shoot if it's not there anymore well yeah there is nothing that can shoot so what you will be trying to do besides aiming carefully will be also trying to take advantage of like you will be trying to read the table understanding what the opponent is trying to do and trying to prevent him or her uh, from doing that. This is the base game and you will see this is already uh, tricky. Like you will, uh, uh, you, will learn, you will need some games before like uh, saying okay now I master this game mode because as I said like there are two layers that are like intersecting and everything is also happening in quite a short time so it's uh, a game where you need some practice. Once you feel comfortable with the base game, you can activate the faction powers in the app. Every faction has a very unique power that changes the way the faction is played. Just as a short uh, like overview, like the Ambum, they are ambushers. When they hit something that's already damaged, they destroy it. The Salt Spear, they have penetrating beams, so they hit two targets in a row. The Retroblast, when they're wounded, they increase a lot their damage. And then like the faction we have not used, the agronauts, they are like sturdy countryside uh, agricultural robots and well they're sturdy so they are very hard to take down. And now you have also to master the faction powers which are very very asymmetrical, very very uh, unique. Once you're done with that it's not over because you can start introducing a variable setup in your game. You will be flipping up one or more sponsored asteroids to activate special rules and these rules are activated by the only fact that this um, asteroid is in the picture so it's sort of an uh, analog setting in the app for example Nova Snipe they produce let's say um, sniper scopes and what they will do they will reward players that hit something from a distance for example like if I hit this from here to here like this is a shield maybe it doesn't work like that then they will be like great you used our technology we give you points there are four of them in the in the base game we hope to get to six with uh, the stretch goals and they are theoretically all compatible with one another so you can play with any set of them on the table thanks for watching this is lightspeed arena a two to four players game and we're working on the solo mode right now with a specialist of the one player mode nestor e mangone it's a game you can play with adults but it's also a game that you can play with kids they will put up a surprisingly good fight against you. They are like kind of native at aiming, they are native at the technological tools and they will love the game. So they won't say no to a game of Lightspeed Arena. As I said, it's a five to 10 minutes game, but at the same time, it's a game where you can get better at uh, on very many strategical levels. This should be clear from like uh, the, the rules that I just explained. You can get better at aiming, you can get better at reading the shooting order to uh, maybe take down enemies before they can shoot. You can, uh, like, you will learn to master the different faction powers. You will have to adjust your strategy based on the sponsor setups, uh, on the sponsor variable setup that uh, will make every game different. 
If this sounds interesting to you, you can register to our mailing list or just hit the notify button on the Kickstarter page. If you register on the, to the mailing list, you will also get a link and with the link you can download the free demo print and play of the game which you can just cut and try out uh, like a smaller version of the game, a two-player version of the game with a beta companion app. Let us know what you think about it and see you in the arena!